Okay, so this is a cocoa balm. It's it's very um, soft and a delicate type chocolate. It, my hands are a little bit warm, so it's already starting to melt it a little bit. As you can see, this is um, this is just a uh, almond bark that was used as the outer shell, and inside it it has um, the uh, cocoa mix, hot cocoa mix, and it has um, the mini marshmallows inside there. We actually got the silicone uh, trays to do this. So these are the silicone trays. They're not really very clean right now. Um, but these are the silicone trays that I had actually gotten in from Amazon that I was showing the other day in the unboxing. And we got two of these in to use to do these um, cocoa balms and to do like some different um, things with there's just water spots and stuff on this from where we just wet it but I haven't actually scrubbed them clean yet since we made these um, cocoa balms with them so the other side just has like some of the white chocolate just a little drizzle of it um, on there but, so this is what we actually use. They're, they're pretty big ones. These are, you know, a, a good size to make cocoa bombs with if you're wanting to use them. So make sure you check out that Amazon unboxing if you want to see um, which ones we ordered and what which ones we used and where we got them from. But right now I'm heating up the milk. And so we're going to pour it over it and you'll get to see what it does whenever you... Um, and do them. So when you do these, just like with any cocoa mix or anything else, you can um, do the cocoa with milk or water. So to make it richer, you want to use a hot milk. If you don't want it to be rich and thick, then you want it to use just the water. And just know that this is like a giant coffee cup that I have here. This isn't like a normal size coffee cup. It's it's pretty huge. <laughs> um, so that's why it looks so small in there. But it's actually uh, fairly big. It's about the same size as the palm of my hand. So it's pretty big. But it does have um, the fingerprints on just because my hand is hot and so um, it's starting to get the little impressions on it but they don't actually have that on there whenever you take them out it's just after you handle them for a little bit okay so I have heated milk just in a measuring cup in the microwave for a couple of minutes so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and pour this over it and you can just see what it does Is that not the coolest thing ever? I love these. And I actually used um, two cups of milk. I like a lot of milk with my hot chocolate, so it's not quite as um, thick and rich chocolatey. Um, but it, it will be. I just have to stir it up and it's going to turn uh, pretty dark. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to kind of stir it up some. And you can see that it's going to darken up. See, it's already starting to get dark. And I can feel the cocoa mix in the bottom still. So it's quite a bit in there. And then we'll just kind of let those marshmallows melt. You can see, see the chocolate is still, it's how thick it is in the bottom. So you just have to keep mixing it up to get it um, to melt all the way. But, and I didn't heat the milk just a whole, whole lot. Um, I would probably heat up, if it's cold right out of the refrigerator, I would put it in the microwave for um, two to three minutes at least to get it um, hot like it really needs to be to do this. But... It looks really good, and it smells delicious. So, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you a little um, look as to what we did with those uh, molds that we got in. That's 
they're just the red ones that we got and we got them to do the um chocolate bombs with and or cocoa bombs and we'll eventually do some other things out of them i'm not really sure exactly all what yet we're talking about maybe trying to make some of the little um mousse desserts and things like that so as we make these again this was our first time to make them and they turned out really good so as we make them again we will actually video it to show you how we made them exactly but i mean there's so many recipes for this and, and it's real easy to do like i said we just use the um, chocolate bark we use the um, dark chocolate and then we use the white chocolate as well so that's what we use to make these with so anyway with that being said i hope you have a wonderful day